So we've got an issue about the vegans versus vegans. A lot of drama right now on the internet, and I mean, we, we enjoy it. It's definitely it's something that we embrace, and from day one, I always tell people, create drama, because the world loves drama, and they just do, and that's, that's not... I look and say, oh, yeah, we're professional and stuff like that. And no, I understand that, but really, man, drama is just what people love. Because most people have got fucking boring lives, or they just want distraction. They just want distraction. There's no surprise that my videos with 10.7 million views on my you know, other channel, there's no surprise that they like that because they are, oh, what's the word, educational. People want distraction. That's as simple as that. Let me just change this camera. The lighting's not so good here. I'll back in a second. So sunny out here. Let me just let me just get a better spot in the show. So I'm not squinting as much. So you can actually see. I can't even see. So what it's like. Anyway, drama is what people want, and uh, love it or not, drama. People love it. People will fucking love it. Drama, man. Even all my friends are saying, "Hala, wish you wouldn't stop doing the, so much drama." Uh, they, uh, <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, how oh, about this video? I'm like, hang on, so you watch that video? So you still watch the drama videos from other people's channels? And, like, hey, blah, blah. and a lot of these people, they're, you know, good friends of mine, sincere but sincerely wrong. Let me get down here, is this better? Is this sort of better lighting there? And this is, people just love drama. This is human nature. This is what works. This is what works, you know? Like, it's just, people just dig the drama, man. They fucking love it. They fucking cream on it. And I've always implemented it on my channel and I always will. But I still love doing the inspo videos. I still love doing the educational videos. But drama is just, we just live in a fucking crazy world. Uh, last night I was at a vegan restaurant and uh, there was a, 10 voices. There was a, a family there and I, don't, I won't say what country they're from, but they were there and they were very traditional and, you know, we, we, they started talking about KFC and Pizza Hut and what company owned it. And so I interrupted the conversation and chimed in and, you know, people at dinner, they want to talk. And the, 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 the lady there was very traditional and she sort of just like brushed me off. She wasn't eating rice. The husband was eating rice. She says, I don't want any rice. And so I knew straight away she's into weight loss. And I said something about rice. She just looked at me, looked at me up and down, just sort of brushed me off. So I pulled out my phone and showed the husband a picture, not a picture, sorry, a video of Freely dancing around in her fucking bra and thong. And, uh... A video that I couldn't even put on YouTube, but I showed that the guy, and he's just like, well, and the, the, the wife's just like looking straight away, checking it out, and giving now giving me attention. So she went from totally brushing me off to like, oh, okay, this guy, this guy knows what he's talking about. But I created drama, and I got her attention. Please text me. I got her attention. And that was not through being rational and providing education. It was appealing to basic human needs. All right? Basic human needs fairly text me now. It's insane. People love drama. They just fucking everyone loves it, man. And the views and the discussion and the passion and the anger and you polarize your audience. People either fucking love you or they fucking hate you. And every day people come up to us on the street in Laos, in Thailand, in New York, in Australia, in the US, anywhere we go. People come up to us and give us praise and appreciation and ask for a fucking selfie. And I've been on the forums and on the internet, social media since 2003, and only once has anyone ever come up with real aggression. And that was this year. <laughs> uh, that's another story, we're going to call it that one. And only once, so two, two occasions in my entire life, I see occasionally there's someone said something, but they're probably just jealous from Strava or whatever. But only two times someone actually come up to my face in the over 13 years being online. Twice I never said something in my face. And the second one was the person at LA saying, you shouldn't be at this festival because you did such and such as someone on Facebook. And I had a discussion with him and they're like, oh, okay, I'm wrong. You know. And that was like, so only really one time I could say someone really was aggressive towards me in person. Out of over 13 years. That's fuck all. People, a bottom line, let's wrap the video up. People fucking love drama. I'll always be a part of it. I'll always be encouraging it. And that's just how it is. It's the human nature. Everyone fucking loves it. So I would say, if you want more views, if you want more impact, more income, create drama. And it's edutainment. This education shit, people are bored with that. And that's why people succeed on Freely and Drew Writer's advice. Because they really get to engage with us. They get to know us on camera. They get to be part of the drama. They see what we fucking eat. They see our blood tests. They see our training on Strava. And they really can fucking take it home. Other people watch documentaries and they get inspired 
to make a change, but can they really maintain it? What do you fucking eat? What do you do when you go to a family sitting? Or what do you do when your boyfriend says you're vegan, fuck off, or your girlfriend or whatever? What do you do with that? But you know that. Because if you watch enough of our videos, you start to become like us. You're still your own self, but you start to go think, what would Drew not do in this situation? What would Freddie do in this situation? And then you start to go, oh, they do this. And then you become that person. You become who you want to be just by stealing some of our templates, which we give freely. Freely, pun intended. And that's what happens. And that's how we have created such a fucking army. And that's why we are the leaders. Because people go vegan for a day when they watch Earthings or whatever. But then they get fucking hungry. Then they go to dinner with their friends. Or then their parents go, what are you doing? And then they're like, oh shit, sorry. And they go back to their standard ways. But when people follow our advice, let me repeat myself, they can actually do it for life. Because they get carved up and they have fun on the bike and they lose weight, they get healthier, they get fitter, or they rebound and recover from eating disorders. And then you see them five years down the track, or you're down the track, and they're like, totally transformed emotionally, spiritually, and physically for the fucking better. And that's why we keep doing what we're doing. So drama's just coming along more and more. Get used to it. Over 360,000 people were born today. Over 150,000 people will die today. That's around 200,000 people on the planet today that weren't here yesterday. We have a lot of issues on the planet right now, and drama is the best way forward. Drama on YouTube engages more minds, engages emotion. When you engage people's emotion, they remember you, for the better or for the worse, but they don't forget you. Engage people's emotion, create drama, have the best template out there, have fucking fun, smash every motherfucking day like a watermelon, carb the fuck up. I'm gonna get back to uh, create more drama. And those that mind what you say, they don't matter. And those that matter don't mind what you say. Mean what you say and say what you fucking mean. Get it done. Let's create a fucking better world for everyone. For you, me, the animals, and the motherfucking planet.